Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. For this video, we'll be going through a content review of the Gunner Zaku Warrior, the Lunamaria Hawk Custom, and this particular kit is from Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny, released by Bandai back in 2005. So continuing on with uh, a few more content review kits from the Seed Seed Destiny universe. Although I guess I should technically say Cosmic Air, but anyway. Um, this particular kit can be picked up from Hobby Link Japan. So I will include a link to the Gunnozaku Warrior uh, in the description. And interestingly enough... Um, there actually now is the monster grade version of this kit as well so um, while you're having a look at hobby link feel free to check that out as well um, to see if it's of any interest anyway contents review the box has been flat packed and stored away uh, everything will still be from what was inside the box um, so I guess with that being said, let's get started. So here we have the front of the manual. Uh, top of the manual has a nice shot of the completed Gonazaku Warrior in the Lunamaria colors. Um, and if I remember correctly, there's also a green version of this as well. As well as an actual Zaku Warrior, which I have built. It's also a very fun build. Um, bottom of the manual, everything unfortunately is still in Japanese uh, given the time, but we do have a shot of the front and the rear of the Zaku warrior and a image of Luna Maria herself. In terms of the insides, now that I remember how these manuals go, uh, various product shots of the Zaku warrior. Uh, here we have a nice front and rear shot with the actual color guide. Uh, which is definitely some different shades of red slash pink which is pretty cool uh, going through the actual included weapons um, the mechanism which is basically that particular backpack attaches to the back of the zaku and here we have a bit more of the posing some of the other weapons some of the stats and then some of the other lineup from seed destiny so the Sword Impulse and the Gaia Parts list uh, A, B, C being decent sized runners, a smaller D runner, uh, two sets of polycaps, the manual, and a sticker sheet. In terms of the build, pretty straightforward. Starting with the head and the, well, the body then the head. The head will probably be a really simple one, which I quite like about the Zaku builds. Uh, going through the arms, which I believe will have a little bit of asymmetry. We do build the rifle fairly early on, as opposed to building all the weapons at the end. Then going through, well, in fact, we go through uh, equipping the heat hawk. Uh, going through the feet, the legs, which ultimately culminates with the waist build and putting all that together. Um, some extra details about weapon storage and some of the grenade storage. Then building the backpack and the... I, I dare say it's a bazooka of some description. And then on the very back of the... well, whilst there's a little bit of colour some images of everything being attached and how to um, extend out the weapon and pose it accordingly. So that was the manual for the Gunnozaku Warrior. In terms of the sticker sheet that's included, probably color correcting. Um, there is that little pink dot at the bottom for the mono eye. That's not too bad. It's actually quite nice to have a very small sticker sheet. In terms of the runners, okay, so we have a multicolor A runner. There is, I dare say that's white, probably 
a black of some description. Um, wine red slash burgundy. And this it's not quite lavender, but it's probably a darker shade of that. So that's the A runner. That's a multicolor A runner. And moving on to the B runner, which I'll do this way. It's the one flat color. Um, I am uncertain as to how to describe this color. You're not red, you're not purple, you're not pink. Um, but you seem to have some of that reddish pinkish hue. Um, I guess I dare say for when I do the Instagram post I'll try and actually figure out what color this is. Um, but it is, all, it is all in the one color. Um, I just can't give the color a accurate label. Goes to show my color theory has uh, dwindled over time. So that was the B runner. Moving on to the C runner, which is uh, I guess so basically black. Uh, so you'll have your manipulators, joints, feet, weapons, things like that. You'll also have a bit of the waist build as well. So that's pretty cool. That's the C runner. Moving to the D runner. Pretty much your weapons. And this is in a bit of a shadow grey, which is a bit of a common colour for some of the Seed Destiny kits. So that's not too bad. D runner. We have two polycaps, uh, PC123 and PC7. So there's your usual run-of-the-mill polycaps for joints and everything. And then your PC7 is all your uh, round ball sockets. Uh, I suspect probably use for the weapon. So we have two of those. And lastly, we have a small section of PVC wire in, I dare say red, uh, to do some of the wiring for the main weapon. So that brings us to an end of the contents review for the Gunazaka Warrior Lunamari Hawk Custom. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will have a link uh, to this product at Hobby Link Japan if you want to have a look. This is the third seed related video. There should be one more, um, which I have realized in a bit of hindsight uh, is going to end up being a duplicate Instagram post, which is unfortunate, although it was also about two years ago. Uh, but that was also back in the time before YouTube, so it's a bit of a rehash of that, but uh, it's mainly for the YouTube, but I didn't want to uh, let the YouTube video go unrecognized, so hopefully it won't become too much of a habit um, doing stuff like that, unless it's something completely brand new that um, I'll do, but we'll see. Anyway, that being said, um, thank you for watching the video. Feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help to support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link below. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video, which may be Gobbler or may be Lego. Stick around and find out. See ya.